Hi everyone and welcome to our week six Eva County sessions, me Laura and Nicola. Hello. This week we're going to talk all about books and we're going to make some bookmarks. So quite a lot of you have probably read quite a few books already, either through school or at home with an adult. So I've got a couple of books here and we're going to quickly just talk about how to look after your books. Now I've got Harry Potter, I don't know what you guys have got, but these are my favourite books, so I thought I'd show you. So with your book, obviously, you want to try not to get any food on it, any water or any drinks, because that can start to ruin the pages and stain them. The other important thing you want to do is not to bend your book back when you're reading. So you don't want to bend it all the way back like this, so that you're reading just on the one page, as this can damage the spine. When I say it damages the spine, I mean it'll do this to it. So I used to do it to my old book. And as you can see, just down here, the spine of my book is really damaged, meaning that some of the pages are starting to fall out. And it moves quite a bit at the bottom there. Okay, so this book is quite damaged because I didn't take care of it when I was younger. The other thing we don't want to do with books is to start folding the corners over or marking our book, say where, we are, where we've got to. So instead, you can use a bookmark. Now, hopefully quite a few of you have seen bookmarks before. They come in all different shapes and sizes. As you can see, I'm quite a Harry Potter fan. There's a Harry Potter one there made out of plastic. I've got a ribbon one. This one's just made out of ribbon. I've got a wooden one. And I've got more of a traditional bookmark made out of leather. My good one just there. So there's lots of different bookmarks. They can come in all shapes and sizes. And as you can see, different materials as well. So this evening, what we are going to do, we're going to make our own bookmarks. So hopefully you've all got the equipment already. What you need is a sheet of paper or card, some scissors, some pens and pencils to colour in. And then if you want, a hole punch and some ribbon to tie at the bottom. You can also use other things like gems, or anything else that you want to use to decorate your bookmark. So to make your bookmark, you can do it two different ways. You can either do what I and Laura have done, which is cut out a piece of paper from your card, whichever way shape you want to do it. So I've done a rectangle, for example, or you can fold your piece of paper. So you can either fold it in half and then half again to get a bookmark like that, or you can do it in thirds and then just decorate it. It's perfectly up to which way you do it. But here's the bookmark I made earlier. So I just did piece of paper, cut it to the shape that I wanted, coloured it in. So that's what you guys are going to do. So if you want to pause the video while you're doing this, you're more than welcome to, but we're just going to run through how to do your bookmark. So fold your paper or cut out your piece of paper into the shape that you want. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to decorate it. So I've done stars on mine and you need to do that either both sides or just one side. But that's what I've done there. You then need to get your hole punch and very carefully, you're just going to put your hole punch onto the piece of paper, but only so it does one hole. You're then going to press it and get a hole punch in the bottom of there. You're then going to get your thread or your ribbon or whatever you want to put at the bottom. And you're just going to thread it through. And there you have your bookmark. Now, like we said, you can have whatever shape you want and any decorations on it. So how about if you take a photo, you can ask your adult to put it on the Facebook page and it means me and Laura will get to see them. I hope you had fun making your bookmarks. I know I did. So this was part of your book readers badge. And another thing you can do to help yourself get your book readers badge is to read six books and there can be any kind of books, fiction or nonfiction. And then you've just got to tell your leader all about them and they can mark it off on your badge. So thank you for joining us today and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.